The Model Shop Live Scale Modeling Show is brought to you by Tenet Controls, makers of lighting kits, soundboards, and more. Tenet Controls brings your models to life. And by HDA Model Works, suppliers of scale model lighting products, detail parts, and complete model kits. Visit HDAModelWorks.com today. <laughs> Hey there, everybody. Boyd here with you, and welcome to the Model Shop Live Scale Modeling Show coming to you from our shop live here in San Antonio, Texas. We're here with some of our modeling friends. We've got uh, Adam Corville here with us. We've got Armando Della Cabana. Uh, sorry we got on a little bit late with you guys tonight. We uh, just had dinner after our model show. We just thought we'd have everybody over at the shop step in here. Uh, our good old friend Uncle Ralph Tanaglia. Um, and we've got... Uh, in, introduce yourself, I'm, everybody. I'm Scott Hall. I'm from Denver. Uh, I go by Modeler X. Good to have Scott with us. Thanks. Rick, Dad Nader. Dad Nader 24 from Seattle. Nice to see you. Anthony Hotchkiss from Seattle, Cougar Boy. Oh, yeah. Bob finally got here. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, Bob is the crazy man in the bunch. He drove down here from Missouri, guys, so we're really glad to have Bob with us. Uh, we just wanted to. Uh, spend a little time with you guys tonight, make you kind of feel like you were at the show with us. We had a great time. I just wanted to kind of go around the room and ask everybody what their thoughts were about the show, what your impressions were. Uh, hopefully we can get more people from the forums to come down and join us next year. We all had a great time. Uh, it turned out that the show was actually bigger than last year. We didn't, didn't kind of feel like that, but according to their official count of the entries at the end of the day, we found out we had, what, almost 150 more than last year? They said last year was like 640. They said 800 and something this year. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's nice to see the model show is growing. Uh, we had a great time. We're just kind of hanging. We got back. We went out to dinner afterwards. We're just kind of hanging out in the shop here uh, and having a good time. And it's really cool to meet everybody and put a name to a face and everything. So uh, we hope you guys are, uh, uh, some of you guys out there are able to come down and, and uh, enjoy this experience with us next year. Uh, we got word at the show that uh, they're actually bidding on, um, the IPMS Nationals possibly for 20, what they say, 2020? 2020. So two years from two now, years. and it would be held in San Marcos, Texas, which is just not more than about a half hour drive north of where we're at right now. And they talked about that being possibly a, um, 
one two or three day show maybe a three day show uh, did they give a date on that did they yeah, say like July July, was it July so yeah, it, would, it, would, it would be in July so sometime maybe in the summer but uh, they said probably by this August they would know and they would make an announcement so um, if it's 2020 that'd be great because the IPMS Nationals there's nothing bigger out there so if they have it down here um, that'd be a great 3D 3D event for a lot of us on the forums to get together and come down and have some fun and get to meet each other. So, Absolutely. I'll start off with Armando. What did you think of the show? I thought it was great. Uh, lots of skill displayed in the models. Uh, I mean, especially the sci-fi stuff. Um, I thought some should have won that didn't, and some won that shouldn't have, but that's all right. Uh, I guess they have their favorites. Uh, lots of vendors too. Um, not garage kids, but stock stuff, but uh, I thought it was great. Awesome. Scott? Um, well, hi there. <laughs> um, <laughs> my, I have to say the funniest thing I came across was the uh, San Antonio Event Center restroom where they gave instructions on how to flush the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> I found that funny. Uh, yeah. But overall, I, my hat's off to the, uh, is it the Alamo Squadron. And Alamo Squadron. You can tell that the club there, their, their aircraft are just oh, awesome, and the look. quantity, the <laughs> skill, so my hat's off to those guys, and certainly a lot of different subjects, love the sci-fi, and um, we were happy to see that sci-fi was uh, better represented this year, there was an uh, entire, I think what, last year, Rick, you were here, and we saw like uh, like half the tables in the very back If I can interrupt. Omar, we're not doing a dance number, all right? <laughs> Stop sending texts. Uh, we noticed a definite really increase in the uh, the number of um, sci-fi models that we saw on display this year, so that was a good thing. And then in the vendor area, we saw a lot more. And overall, it looked like the vendors were all pretty happy. It looked like the yeah, um, you know, there were people buying kits and buying parts, and Ralph had his uh, set up there, and and. Jerry was Jerry with HDA Model Works is in town. He was here for the show too. He couldn't join us. They were kind of worn out at the end of the day, but he uh, when I talked to him, he seemed like he had a pretty good day too. Got to meet a lot of people, and uh, just kind of spread the word, you know. And, and it's it's just great. I'm I'm really some of the guys brought their wives down. They seem to have a good time and enjoy it. Yep. And um, so we really enjoyed uh, just you know the the. It's all it's a, it's a day all about models and that's something that's always really fun. So hopefully, like I said, some of you guys from out there can join us again next year. Adam, what did you think of the show? That was a great show. Um, the center itself is pretty expansive. It's um, it's at least about a couple thousand square foot or more. But uh, they had a, a good variety of scale and, uh, and a good variety of classes. Uh, as far as the quality of the work goes, outstanding. Uh, I could point out my favorite is is the aviation one, and uh, there are some very nice uh, renditions of say like the, the jets from the Korean era and uh, of course World War II, but uh, very clean work and uh, just very well executed. But uh, yes, I highly recommend it if you're down this part of the state. Excellent, Rick. Uh, my second year coming here. Uh, I had an awesome time. Um, going to be here every year. This is our show now. We're going to come here every year. And like to thank you for doing yes. all this. Mm -hmm. exactly. You got to come see this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, we're getting some weird reactions. Last night uh, we had one of our modeling friends, some of you guys out there probably know him. Matt Alkire was here last night, and we were he was kind of uh, caught up in the moment here, and he just kept saying, "It's the bench, it's the bench, it's the bench." And I'm like, "It's just a dirty old dusty workbench." Yeah, but that's to you, not but, to us. You know, yeah, it, it was. It, it's surreal to. To, for some people out there to see it after they've been watching it on YouTube all this yeah. time, so I'm really glad that people are enjoying it, and, and uh, you know, we just look forward to already for the next year. Yeah. I can't wait till next year. Today went by too fast. Sure did. Yeah. Sure yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this preparation and it's just gone just like that. But yeah. uh, we wanted to just come on with you guys and talk about it a little bit, and uh, we're going to be doing on our next follow-up show. I'm going to put together a little slideshow showing some pictures of the models we show at the show saw at the show and uh, a little bit more about the show itself and we just didn't have time to do very much right now we just literally got out of there and got something to eat and came directly over here so um, we hope you guys uh, uh, will shows that are in your local area hopefully you guys will go out and support that because it's really important that if you're into this hobby that we support it because the only way we're going to keep it sustained and growing is if we support the hobby uh, support your local club if you can uh, you know go to the shows 
like this show was even cheap to get in, right? I mean, if you weren't yeah, five uh, bucks. I mean, it's yeah, five dollars. I mean, it's, it's a great time. You're, it's it's something that's you know wholesome for your kids to see. There's no, no <coughs> nothing bad going on, and it's just a great mm -hmm. great way to spend a day. And uh, so if you have something like that going on in your area, and I think that's something that. Uh, Modelers in the community need to do a little bit better job at, and maybe we can start talking about that as we move forward. Is uh, I think we all need to start kind of working together and maybe getting out the information and help spreading the information a little bit more about when these shows are going to happen and when they're going to take place, yeah. and try to uh, organize uh, whenever possible to get a few people to connect and go to, to the show as a group if possible. You know, if they're within reasonable distance, and I think that would help make it uh, grow a little bit more too. But it was, uh, as far as the uh, off the street crowd, the people coming in, it was nonstop all day, mm -hmm. it looked like to me. Yeah, a they had a lot of people in and out of there. So, the, the, uh, tables, um, you know. As far as, <clears throat> from what I understand, this, this particular show here is, is, is only second in size to the, uh, to the IPMS National, so this is a big show. And uh, uh, we'd like to see it you know, last more than one day, but kind of talking to the people that run it and everything, they explain that it's just expensive to lease this huge building that they're in for this you know more than one day so um, but you know we'll see what comes of it and uh, hopefully we'll see a bigger show next year that's all that's the only thing we can hope for the, the but the quality of the models and uh, the uh, at IPMS shows if you know if you haven't been to an IPMS show before it's just all, it's just all outrageous the quality of the yeah, workmanship work. and everything yeah, yeah. so some of the stuff they're doing is amazing. Right. <clears throat> Let's um, hop over to our uh, shout-outs and Q&A, guys. We figure some of you out there, we don't have a whole lot to say because we're <coughs> not doing any work on the bench, but um, we'll just kind of see if... What uh, you drinking, Armando? <laughs> see what some of you guys are out there talking about. It's a Bud Light. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. <laughs> yeah, dilly, dilly. <laughs> dilly, dilly. Uh, Not on camera anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's because it's behind. It's oh, a, it's always oh, behind. It's a little. It's a little. So watch what you say, right? <laughs> yeah. So I appreciate you guys staying up and waiting for us too. I tried to take my best guess at as far as what time we were going to uh, come on and be able to do the show. So we were about a half hour late. Uh, we just want to say our shout outs to everybody here that's oh, on with us tonight. I can see. Okay, good. I can see. Yeah. And I'm going to let Armando do the honors. <laughs> oh, hey. oh yeah. come on. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Just okay, read you the, take uh, the name right here and just. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can, ah, all right. And, as you get, like take the mouse room. here and start dragging it down as you, you go through. Room? All right, all right. And just say hello to everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah, like you do. Okay, so Ellie. Brian Knowles. Uh, Red Shirt Forever, Sci-Fi Annecy, uh, that's Kenny. Uh, T Commando, Ken's Model Shop, Eric Hawkins. How you doing, Eric? Uh, Heath Tompkins, uh, Jay Schulenberg, uh, PJC 2.0, uh, Chuck Brooks, Gearhead Workshop. How you doing, Chuck? Uh, Omar, we missed you here, man. Uh, let's yeah, what see. happened, buddy? Yeah, what <laughs> happened? <laughs> let's see. Uh, Harvey's not the same without you, man. Eddie Perez. Is he from here? Is he from Omar? Uh, uh, <laughs> Punk Rock Pub. Don't know that one. Well, welcome anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. We don't discriminate. <laughs> we don't discriminate. <laughs> Federation Shipyard. Mark Shu, how you doing, Mark? I usually don't look at the screen. I um, have the screen up. That makes sense. Rob Pauza. Too weird looking at yourself, talk. Yeah, it, it is, isn't it? it and, and the delay, delay yeah. is really weird, yeah. yeah. Um, Carla C., welcome. Uh, Chris Farrell. Uh, let's see, who else? Going down. They're starting to repeat themselves. Dana Church. Mm. Phil Spruworks. Um, Bruce, how you doing, Bruce? Bob, Bob, Jason Greer. I can see, I can oh, hear wow. myself. I was like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> He's watching the show. Leona Timber, Timber Company. Um, Heath the, Tompkins, how's it going, Heath? Yeah, yeah. Guy. The land down under. Uh, land down under. Georgie Modeler, and I think we've He's reached the bottom. Late. 
when for you us. Yeah. Yeah. For us, yeah, that's uh, that's probably, an honor. I'm honored. It's probably daylight, middle yeah. of daytime where he's yeah. at. Yeah. That's it. I think we, we got to the bottom. All right. Yeah. Good job, Armando. All right. You're hired. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Okay, guys. Well, I mean, we're all kind of, you know, camera shy here and don't talk very much, so... Um, we're going to let you guys uh, ask if you have any questions you want to ask anybody about the show. Uh, I saw one pop up on there a minute ago about if I knew any shows in North Carolina. I'm sorry, I don't. But what I'm going to start doing, guys, I'm going to start doing a little bit of research around here and uh, try to f see if I can start putting together Do it in the council voice a, uh, a national list of um, yeah. model shows that are coming up for uh, you know each month and see if we can maybe get some other people to help, help us with that and... Uh, and make it so where we can get a, a report out once a month where people can start planning and finding uh, finding out about model shows because um, it's a really good thing to uh, to head out there and uh, support those hey Mark I want you to come to Seattle in April Chris Farrell nice to see you thanks for hanging in there sorry we were kind of late we'll catch you next time bud Bob is typing in the chat, and he's standing right here. <laughs> it's like kids these days, Bob. They text, and they're standing right in front of each other. <laughs> what kind of resin is Armando drinking? <laughs> did you get Bob his toy? Uh, yes, I did. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Awesome. Did you win any awards? Live from Boyd's shop. <laughs> we won first place for the uh look we've got to show it yeah you got to show, show it come yeah. on bring come out on. the hardware he's got to bring out the hardware yep <laughs> he walks off screen they're still on screen <laughs> yeah, that's funny <laughs> so anyway guys uh, how you doing <laughs> tag him all i was just going to see oh that. tag hey, see there? hey tag hey tag long time no see No, Don't just text and talk. He's just the only one that won an award. Uh -huh. I got two. No, Bob got two. No, no, no. Oh. Uh, no, uh, Gearhead here was one. Asked if anybody else entered a model would get an award. No, it was just Boyd. You guys didn't yep. enter anything. Like that. No, we didn't. Galileo. Uh, no, Chuck, unfortunately Ooh. not, but uh, I thought it should have won. <laughs> yes, we all did. Yeah. He had the perfect model of the Invisible Man there. The best figure I've ever seen. Perfect, yeah. It was 100% perfect. Oh. Here comes the hardware. Here comes it. Oh, we got first place for the uh, Richard Petty Torino Talladega. We got a big old trophy for best NASCAR. Best NASCAR and then we, uh, the model got first place in the closed wheel competition class. So there you go, guys. And it was... Uh, it was unexpected. I didn't think that Carter. I didn't think that we thought the Galileo was going to do better, but it was up against uh, a bunch of Jason Gray has a, I have a question. really experienced military modeler guys, um, and because uh, we put it in this class that you call triple play, where you put three different models in there, and you all three of your models are judged together. I wanted to try something different this year, but uh, we learned some. We learned a little bit from that, and we'll try again next year. But we had a lot of fun. It's not about the awards. It's just about having fun and. If you do get an award, that's a little icing on the cake, but it's mm -hmm. all about fun, yeah, and we had a great time. Yeah. And every every model there was worthy. It was they yeah, were all no beautiful how you, models. How you choose between them? Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So hopefully we'll see some of you guys down there for the next one. We'd really like to see that. Uh, there's I've got Cal Zahn. Yeah. And Aaron Van Dorn. <laughs> Barry Steinlidge. Barry, Barry Steinlidge, Omar, thank you Omar, Jason Greer, yeah, we just had a great time everybody, and um, the, uh, oh, and the, and there there was one nice thing to see, there was a lot of uh, junior participation, they had a whole class for juniors, and, a whole table, yeah, and they uh, they had some nice models, really nice models, yeah, I saw, I saw a 1144th uh, uh, Falcon, Bondi, mm -hmm. built by a kid, um, Look pretty nice, and Good. they treated him really good. They brought him yeah, up and yeah, gave him gave him credit and and um, yeah. So that's good to see. C two. Mark Shoe. Yeah, it is Mark. They get down to when you 
when all the models are all nice, you've got to get down to the, you know, fine. Where you literally see someone walking around with the little magnifying glasses and the little and the light and the magnifying lights. goggles. Yeah, yeah, they get right down on it because <laughs> it's hard to separate it when you get down to, you know. And there's so many of them too. There was a lot of models in each category. Yeah, I'm surprised so. that so many sci-fi models had to break it into three classes: Star Wars, Star yeah. Trek, and everything else. Yeah. So, uh, I guess we don't have a whole lot more, guys. I don't. I, I if if you if if you have any questions or anything you want to ask us, we can hang around a bit longer. But we're starting to get kind of worn out. I know I am. I'm. Yeah. I've about had it here. It's been a long day. I've been up since eight o'clock last night. <laughs> but uh, so like I said, I know I'm repeating it. But it, would, it it we'd really love to see some of you guys come down next year. Maybe try to plan it a little bit ahead of time. Some of us are talking about Wonderfest in the next maybe year or two. Um, but Wonderfest is mostly all sci-fi, as far as what I know, isn't it? Yep. Yes, sci-fi is big. Yeah. yeah. Well, I really enjoy figures. the variety of this show, uh, and if and, and if the and if the <coughs> sci-fi aspect of this show keeps getting better, that's going to be better too, <coughs> bigger. Yeah, he trusts us, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> What's that say? Somebody asking about the Donchenko Reliant kit. Oh, somebody was asking about a. <coughs> and Chuck answered him that the only 350 is the Don Shanko. Well, what happened to that? Wasn't there a guy on Facebook or one of them groups that had a Reliant was, kit that was complete? That Chuck would know about that. He's the one that uh, that first found out about it. Uh huh. If he's saying it's not available, then. When is the 1350 scale? Bill model Kittleman. Out? Yeah, he's asking about the 1350 scale Reliant. Well, right now, um, the Reliant kit was sent off to Elliot Brown, uh, and he was he's he's working on photo etch details for that model. And from what I understand, the last time I I checked on it, uh, that uh, he's working with Don Chenko, who's the uh, original you know manufacturer of the kit or whatever. And what they're working on is improving the whole kit overall. Once they once they started looking at what it was going to take to put photo etch on and things like that, they found out that, okay, there's a lot of things that could be uh, improved on the entire kit. And one of the things I understand they're working on is uh, a bracing system to mate up the saucer to the rear part of the... You're using the saucer from the from the refit model, and you're mating that up to the rear part of the Reliant and, and making a bracing system to, to guarantee that that always comes out straight and true and centered, which... I had to fiddle around with it a lot myself, and I still knew it wasn't quite right. I was planning on getting it back and doing a little bit more tweaking on it, but uh, they're, they're looking at that, and I know they're looking at uh, possibly recasting some of the rear, rear area where those shuttle bays are, because when we showed you that part on our kit here, it was going to be almost impossible to get lighting in those shuttle bay details, and now they're talking about having a separate piece molded in clear now that will attach on that, and all you'll have to do is mask it off and light block it and the light will come through where you want it to and not have to cut the whole back of the model off and everything. So that's the last I've heard. I, Elliot's doing all this work for free, and it, just for me with the kit, I told him I was in no hurry with it. Um, and uh, like, I, like I said, I think Don, the producer of the kit, and Elliot are working on some kind of a... And I think they've been posting some information somewhere. Like you might want to check like the RPF or some of these other forums... I think they have been putting up some information about what they're working on and everything, but I'm just not totally... I just basically said, hey, when it's ready, send it back and let me know what I need to do and what you've changed. Is, is this the one, the resin one that you had built? Yeah. That's the one? Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of started yeah. on it, and then <coughs> we were going to do the photo etch upgrades and everything, and I just sent the whole kit off to Elliot because he could... Uh, he has to have the physical parts to make his measurements and make it work sense. and everything. So that's where it stands, guys. I know some people are waiting and everything, but if you remember on the video series when I started that, I... When I said that I was sending it off, I said it might be several, several, several months before we see it again, and it, it's going to be a while. It, when you're when people are working for free, you don't you don't ask <laughs> them to work fast, you know. But I do that to Ralph all the time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so, any Omar, other? Omar, you asked about the Dakir ring. I did get it, and I sent you a picture. Uh, it's really nice. I'll, I'll show you when I get home. What is that? It's the um, um, Dennis St. Pierre um, is a guy that does Hi, StarCraft. He, yeah, models. I'm here somewhere in the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's delayed. You're gonna pop in there in a second. He does the uh, the Kier, which is a Vulcan ship, and um, 
there was always a question as to how we could light the ring, and Omar came up oh, with okay. a clear resin ring. Oh, that's right. that. He yeah. sent me a copy of it, and we were going to do it that way, but then Dennis came up with a solution. He, he cast the whole ring in a clear blue resin and cast a uh, LED strip inside of it. <laughs> oh, wow. And, wow. and, and it's it was wonderful. Like a you hook light. it up, and the whole thing lights <laughs> up in blue. So, uh, yeah, I got it, and I told Omar about it. He was going to get it. I don't know if he has it yet, but he was asking me on, on the chat. I've gotten it. So. That sounds cool. I do have it. I sent you a picture. Uh, I'll put it up on Miles' shelf so people see it. Cool. Uh, anything else? Uh, Bill Kitterman is asking what we all think about the new Enterprise from the Star Trek Discovery TV show. I think it looks good. The, yes. the final scene? Yeah, I thought it looked cool. You're only getting it. I mean, it's a little hard to judge. You're only getting a really quick glimpse of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. frames. <laughs> But from what I liked, from what I saw, I liked it. Yeah, I liked it too. Yeah, same, same, Bruce. Love to meet you up in person. Shannon, Shannon Freeman. What did I miss? <laughs> Everything, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> Just well kidding. Uh, and. Chuck says, thanks, Ralph. The remote board works great. Yeah, he wanted a remote control, and he, he, he put it together. He did everything right. You're welcome, Chuck. Enjoy. Yep. Remote for what? He, was, he wanted to turn some stuff on and off, and I got that solid-state remote. Right. Oh, I, you know what it was? He wanted to play the sounds through the board's board. Ah, the, right. I had dog. Right, right. Uh, board, so I, I to gave see him about that, too, because yeah. some, there's some kids that I wouldn't mind having a remote. K. James N. is asking, where can I go for tips on putting together my 1350 Enterprise? Check out YouTube, James. There's all kinds of videos. <clears throat> Type in, you know, Polar Lights Enterprise, and you'll find literally, by this time now, probably thousands of videos from different people on how to, how to build that model. The solo movie. <laughs> Tags is glad to see you awake. <laughs> That's a good thing. Glad to see you, Bob is still here. Did you want to talk to him or say something to him, Heath? He's looking for Bob. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can you can answer him back with your text. That's yeah. Right. Your chat. What's he want yeah. to know? Come here. <laughs> Yeah, and about the scheduling of the show, everybody. Like I said, we were doing our, we were calling this a little hiatus until we return for our live show for this big event we were doing here. So now, moving forward for the rest of the winter and into spring, we're going to be back on a regular schedule. We'll be coming back doing the show every other week. So not next week, but the week after, which will be. Anybody know what that date is? Oh uh, God. Uh, um, 18, 25, 32. <laughs> the movie eight, May, March, March. 18 to yeah. 7. Yeah. March. Basically, the first weekend of March, right? Wouldn't that be right? Oh, the, no, no, maybe the last week, yeah. Or the last... Let's pull up the calendar. <laughs> stop, yeah, stop yeah, it'll be the around. first week in the morning. Not that one. No, was right. It'll be the 3rd of March, or guys. Saturday or Sunday? Saturday or Sunday? Saturday, Saturday night. Yep, yeah, some Saturday. Yeah, oh, Saturday Sunday. Sunday. That's what I get off. Oh, no. Yeah. It's, it's, it's right. been too long already. Yeah. I do it on su uh, Sunday. Sundays. Sundays. No, Sundays. Okay, yeah, yeah so it's going to be the... It's going to be the 4th. I'll put all this up. We're mumbling and bumbling and stumbling. We're just wore out, guys. Um, it'll be the 4th of March, Sunday at our usual time, um, 7 o'clock Central Time. So I'll put all that information back up on the page and everything so you can look forward. We'll be doing the show again. We're going to start on some new builds and doing back work on the bench and all that. So I had to have a nice little hiatus to get caught up on some other things and get ready for this show and this get-together. So... We're all free and clear from that. And uh, so we'll be back to it. So we'll be glad to get back together with you guys every other week. By the time I put together the next show, guys, I'll have some pictures and some more stuff about the model show. Um, Bob, Bob, what did you place in? I got first and second in sci-fi, not Star Trek or Star Wars. Awesome, Bob. Good job. And Bob's. Do you have. Oh. Would you mind bringing your Romulan bird of prey in here and showing it? Or do you still have the Viper? The, the Romulan. Was that your Romulan bird? Uh, oh, no, no, he, he wanted to bring your Viper. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bob's models were beautiful. And, uh, well, that's his Viper. 
it was it was great yeah, to see the more that and the uh, the Thunderbird I knew the Thunderbird thing. Uh, he won mm -hmm. with both. Yeah, yeah. The they Thunderbird airplane. Yeah, yeah. They won Thunderbird first. first. Yeah, he's yeah. won more than one award with that airplane. I think at some other shows he's won awards yeah. for that. It's really nice. Gadget Toronto. Yes, Shannon, I did have a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's going to get his model to show it to you guys. So, uh, It's still there, Matthew. It's still going to be continued. The kits are sitting right here, the Battle of the Mataro Nebula. We just had to sidetrack that for a little while. But we're going to get back on that. You'll see that finished on here. Boyd has to get some sleep sometime. <laughs> These. Even though I think he's a vampire, then the yeah. sleeps. <laughs> yeah, since eight o'clock last night, Jesus. I'm it's I'm starting to feel it. Just all the, the adrenaline for the show. That's what I wanted to see and yeah, just meet all the people. Yeah, now in your low now. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Shannon just woke up from a nap. <laughs> Lucky <laughs> guy, <laughs> Shannon. All right, Bob. <clears throat> Bob, take center stage. Show them that beautiful Viper, Bob. Yes. And you have that. We'll get you some power. Power. <laughs> wrap that up so we can park the car. Pure energy. Bam, 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 bam. Let's get this shit. Oh, there it is. Oh, that goes through yeah, there. I thought I stepped on somebody. Who's the, who's the ridge on this? I'm looking happy, Heath. <laughs> Watch me pull the power plug. Let's roll that PC. Resin, yeah. That's right. It's all that Hi. resin. I told you I was tired. <laughs> yeah, I've just had one beer. Uh, believe me, some strange things have happened during the broadcast of this show. I'm not joking. That I have to sit here and just go. You have no idea. It's all good. <laughs> Smile. Live, Smile live broadcast. <laughs> live from New York. It's Saturday night. Yep. That's That's <sighs> Yeah, yeah, enough, just enough. Oh, look at how that popped happens. out there, just like magic. Watching a sporting event or something. All of a sudden, it's like nothing. There we go. Look at that, folks. So there's, there's the R Viper. Bob's got some animated engine action going on here. And I at the end of the running, hit the button. We get the thrusters. Those thrusters are cool. Yeah. Yeah. Super turbo. And the cockpit's also lit. You'll never, I can't, won't show up on camera. It is lit, yeah. With the greatest and everything lit up in there. I use decals off uh, F-86 for the Hellcat training squadron. But he was a normal, normal Battlestar Galactica Vipers. Really nice decals. weathering job on it, too. Yeah. Uh, this one took second today. I think it took second the last time I placed, too. You've won multiple awards with these models. Didn't you win yeah. another award for the airplane, too? At, at fire one of the shows? Yeah. Fire Flash, I've got one twice with it. Thank you, Omar. You're too kind. So. That's the Viper. Knock over the microphone. <laughs> They're awake now. And the fire. Sorry, guys. I've only had one beer. <laughs> yeah. They're ahead of me. Cut Bob off. <laughs> Down. All right. Don't Thanks for sharing that, Bob. Is, no problem. Yeah. Does anybody else have anything they want to? Anybody else have anything they want to? Go ahead. We got more for you guys. Where can you get this stuff for free? <laughs> Should we tell them now? We're going Patreon next week, folks. Sorry. <laughs> Over my oh! over my dead body. Ooh, Ooh yeah. So, a tag soundtrack. Uh, one. What happened? Those, those Mark II's are so good looking. Yeah. Uh, seven thousand alive. Oh, that's what came out of the crock pot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did some it. cooking, Adam. Yeah, it was slow cooking. Right away. Can I cook or can I? <laughs> Your phone video up again? I'd yeah. buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Why didn't you put oh, some of those in the show, that. Adam? Oh, oh tag them all. Not Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Nice. That is clean. Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember seeing these when we were building. And this really had, yeah, I was going to use the decals at first, but the, the batch I had was, was brittle. So uh, about the only ones I can manage using, they're small enough, it's just the, the end number and the, the other one. That was all. Yeah, that's so great. Yeah. Just move them up so that they can oh, yeah, see. Yeah, no, no, I was going to. Step right up. There you go. Any of you guys that are, you know, that are familiar with the fine molds model, this is the 172nd scale TIE fighter. And uh, I think it's the same what they use with the New Hope and Empire Strike Back, Strikes Back and Known. This is not lit. And uh, this is probably about a three or four year old model now. But uh, all the masks are, were custom cut by me. Uh, the vinyl masks that, that come with it are not very good. And this is just... All of my models are, are finished with acrylic uh, lacquer. So it's, to me, a flats. So anything military like this, this is going to be just uh, flat finish, like from testers. So and that's that one. And second one. I'm sure as you all know, this is the uh, new Battlestar Galactica Viper. This is the 132nd scale, I believe. And this is just simply lit. You just have... Oops. The engines like oh, this, yeah. just uh, like a cool white. Let's get dance music doing it all and the way the engines are done here, when you switch this off, <laughs> this is uh, painted with no light block, <laughs> just straight paint. <laughs> so they look no, dark, just, just like that. When you switch it on, <clears throat> then it kind of washes yeah. out, just like you can see it in the show. The and Beautiful. thank you. And uh, yeah. then you have the Dratus and the cockpit yeah. lights, just yeah. static lit, like that. And the last one. And this is the 11000 Reliant. I'm sure some of you folks have built and looked at it. And this one is lit. Now we have a uh, strobes and the slow flashers. I'm going to bring this on. Lighten those little guys. This is the so I can get cell that's the key. So the the lighting has to be in scale with the model, folks. Now, I made a few differences with this one. Now, a lot of you folks that watch Wrath of Khan several times, you know, if you took a very close look at the ship, then the cell lights themselves were not lit. Uh, most of the time, it was just going like on a slow speed or something. But I thought they would look good. It's just lit with like a 2.5 millimeter LED for, for each in the cell. And. It's going to be hard to see in this light, but some folks do or don't do this, but your side windows like this are, are a little difficult to do. Uh, the material right here is pretty thick, anywhere between like an eighth of an inch or better, so when you're trying to drill holes for this, they're not going to light that well. I found a workaround for that, so you just thin the material where the windows are and then just drill your holes. So you might be able to see this. But all the side windows in here, which these are the easy ones, these are the toughies. But these are all using a, a pin vise. Uh, I don't know what size it is. It's probably about the size of, a, say, like a, uh, like a sewing needle or so. And that's the last one. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. Beautiful job. Man. My pleasure. Yay. <laughs> All right. I had to put him on the regular screen because it was driving me nuts too. That that not being live. I don't usually look at the screen like this. It's kind of really weird, right? Uh, anybody else have any questions out there, guys? Uh, anything? Anybody else want to add anything about the show or any comments or anything? Oh, okay. I'll grab it just a second. Oh. Oh, thank you. You still playing good. Thanks for sharing those with us, guys. Really appreciate that. It's our pleasure. I still kind of that. Yeah, I'll probably look at that. Oh, okay. seen one of these things built, even when they came out the first time. I didn't realize that yeah, something like this, all the original
messages. Okay, I think we're pretty well caught up with everybody's questions and everything there. Uh, mostly. Graphic Getting a lot of compliments on your work, guys. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. That's a Mia. Graphic acrylic. Whatever I had done. Okay. Whatever color looked good. Like ceram code or apple barrel. Apple barrel, though. All right. For Walmart stuff. It's like first time I would use it. <coughs> yeah, I'm glad to hear that's. I'm glad to hear that's working for you, Shannon. T Commando, I can't. The final, the after the of, after so many so comments have gone by, I can't go all the way to the top of the page to, to see what it is. To see what that was. Is it something important on the comment or question? Eric Hawkins is asking Ralph, does he have the Starfighter? I think he's wondering if you're doing a board for the Starfighter. Uh, I, know, I know, Eric, you gave that to me a long time ago, and I, eventually I will get to it, you know? But it's just a matter of all these uh, Star Trek stuff has taken, unfortunately, priority for now. And we also got to get to the Sea uh, View. Uh, Flying sub thing. I know I did that kid as well. It just sometimes it's not getting enough hours in a day, but uh, eventually you will see it. You'll see it, and then I'll send it back. Is that that big kit that he got at the Jersey Fest show? Yeah, he said it's. It was the from big the one. From time that, slip. Yeah, it was from the uh, like a resin one. It was. It's like this tall, right, Eric? It's a. It's a big one. Oof. Is that the one that you got from? Uh, is that the time slip kit, Eric? Commander, we were doing a pretty good imitation of a drunk sailor on a Saturday night, except we actually weren't drunk. <laughs> yeah, it'll take him a minute. He says no problem. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it, man. Oh, and, and guys, I got to see a little treat for me at the show today. It's the first time I got to see the one of the, the new large uh, eagle kits in person built, and now I want one. <laughs> and I have to order me one of those. And I liked it done in that, with the red stripes, the medical just makes it look a little bit more pizzazz. Oh, you're welcome, Shannon. Oh, he sent you the he sent you the monogram kit, so it's the smaller one. Yeah, that's the, that's right. It's the monogram. I didn't want to misspeak because yeah. That now that yeah, I remember the the picture and I look at it every day in my lab. I remember on Eric when he was showing the time slip one, it had an actual cockpit that would open up or something, and the other one didn't, or something's different about him. But he was excited about that. Oh, an update on the Discovery. Uh, we can show you that really quick. What are you doing, Dave? You guys saw the video the other day where the the rear half of the ship is pretty much done. We have the we have the front half uh, coming along really nice. I've got all the uh, modules put on, and most of the paintwork is done on it. I've done some. Uh, if you show up too good here on this, but you, if you can see up here, guys, I've done all my panel painting work on these different. It's it's almost like an Aztec, but it's not an Aztec. It's just the individual panels are like highlighted different colors and stuff. But it's not an overlap like you have on the Enterprise and stuff. And uh, so when we get this ready to go, we're going to run our wire through and connect it to the rear half. Uh, and some of you guys who haven't seen this before. Yeah, just uh, 
I'll give you guys an idea of the scale. <laughs> this is a long model. And um, so we're going to pull the wire through up front and then terminate it up here. And our globe, our sphere, whatever you want to call it, our command module up in the front is going to go on that. But as I mentioned earlier, uh, we can't finish this up just yet because we've got the photo etch parts that we're working on. I confirmed that with Jerry today at the model show. He's working hard on the uh, decal set for the uh, uh, paragraphics photo etch set that we're using for this kit. And uh, what did, I think he said we have done by the end of the month. Is I think what he said. So um, we have that going on. So. Once we get that, all of our photo which we could put that inside the sphere, close the sphere up, terminate our wiring and connect it. Our good friend Ralph here is working on a control board. We are going to mount the control board. Now, those of you who didn't see the video, we're mounting the control board in the rear part of the model here with a nine volt battery with a uh, remote system, which will have a little key fob like this with four inputs, only little, we're only gonna use two. Right, just to, yeah, because we don't have many outputs. To we're gonna able. have uh, one button will activate our engine lighting here and Ralph's working on a little neat little effect for that and he'll explain that in due course and then up front we're going to hit another button we're going to turn all of our lights on up here in the command module uh, those of you that know this ship know that there aren't any flashing <coughs> fancy lights on this ship whatsoever so it's pretty simple but straightforward but uh, I know Ralph's going to come up with something really nice for it nice enough Nice kind of mid-range price board too. Yeah, we, we, the good the, the the cost will be incurred in adding the remote control, but you guys don't have to do that. But you know, I just thought of an idea, boy. It just oh. just came to if you want to use remote control, there's not many functions, right? Just the engine and the lights. We can incorporate all the software into the remote control board because we have multiple out. We can up, do four buttons up to four outputs. So that means just one board, just a remote board, um, and that's the that will be it. So instead of buying two boards, the control board and the remote, we can just do that. It'll just be one board. I didn't, why didn't we think of that before? I didn't. I didn't realize that, that you know we we're going to really go into the remote part. But yeah, it was just. It makes sense for this type of ship to be fully remote control. You don't have to touch it. You know. Um, mm -hmm. Where, whereas it's kind of uh, a little bit on the flimsy side, you it know, is. You, you're going to have some sort of, uh, how does it come with some tripods or something? Yeah, it has the uh, the base one here, one in the, the center and one at the very front, right, and right. they look like old V8 car exhaust and intake valves, okay. and uh, they're too narrow, they're not stable, so my plan for that is just to really simply go mm -hmm. over to Michael's or something, buy those little wooden coaster things and glue those on and make it wider and more stable, and but not raise it up too much in the height. Right. And then that's it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we can use the remote control board, and we put a, a microprocessor on it. Uh, <coughs> we program the, the effects onto it, so you get a remote and a control all in one board. Awesome. So that that will eliminate the other board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Perfect. Yeah, that would okay. work. Well, guys, like I was explaining in the video, <coughs> uh, the original plan was to think about maybe hanging this, but I'm sorry, you know. Uh, it's just going to be too flimsy to hang it. It's just going you're going to get an action going on here. Even with uh, the only way I could see possibly doing it is uh, you'd have to have something in the center that's not actually a support, but it's actually kind of pushing down because what's going to happen here is it's heavy in the front and it's heavy in the rear. It's going to do this number here, and the middle part's going to want to rise up, <coughs> and the lower parts are going to. So if you just have this on strings, that string's not going to be able to stop that top part from pushing up. You need something solid. Uh, like a like a, a a steel leader line or something like that to hold that <coughs> center part down and then support the very front and the rear and it'd probably be okay but hanging it's going to be difficult uh, unless you don't of course use this rod if you use a solid rod on this thing it wouldn't have any problem at all uh, but then again if you're going to do that you're going to have to, and you want to light it you're going to have to put separate a separate power source up here power and another one back here mm -hmm. and then you might need two boards and right all that mm -hmm. so. Just things to think about. We're going to talk about this a little bit more, you know, when we get a little closer. Uh, I'm going to put another update out on the YouTube channel this week, <coughs> and uh, uh, we'll be getting closer to. Uh, uh, I, I, it's not Ralph's fault that we don't have the board ready already. He'd probably already have it done. But he's, what he's waiting for me is information about what kind of lighting we're going to put in up front here, uh, and you know, you can't really figure that out until you put your photo etch in here, and you've got to see where you're going to have shadows and. We might only need 
two SMDs, we might need six. We just don't know. We can't have we can't have shadows. We're lighting up the uh, cockpit, and then we're going to light the lower uh, pod bay area. So uh, it, it, it'll take a little fiddling around to figure out how it looks just right. But as soon as we know, you guys will know. And uh, I hope you guys have grabbed one of these kits by now. I think Jerry sold a few of them at the show, didn't he? He did, yeah. Yeah, so they're, it's a popular kit, and it's a really fun kit to build. So I was surprised to see how heavy the box was. But yeah. This, this yeah, is pretty heavy. The, the, the entire build is these is these cargo pods there's not there's 900 and something pieces oh, it took me three days just to put the cargo pods together you guys are glutton for punishment <laughs> <laughs> each one of those pods is like four pieces you know it's a top bottom and the side so i, I don't have the patience to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay well i think we're gonna call this a wrap guys i know i am running out of steam quick um we hope you guys enjoyed our little get-together here. Uh, some of us are going to try to get together. Uh, some of us are still going to be in town for a little while tomorrow. I leave tomorrow, uh, a little afternoon. A little afternoon. Yeah. So we might try to do a little something tomorrow. We've, we've got a, we've got, uh, I've got tons of stuff I've got to do in the morning, but uh, we'll try to see if there's anybody still in town Sunday afternoon and see what's going on. And uh, But thanks for joining us tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope we didn't keep you up too late. Um, so we will be back uh, on the 4th of March with our brand new for the new season show. We'll do a little bit more follow-up on the, on the model show here, share some pictures of the show with you guys, and um, maybe we'll get you guys down here for the next one next year. Sure would love to see that. All right, so let's all say it together. Good night, and... Happy, Happy modeling. modeling! Happy modeling, you guys. Good night. Take care. That's too funny. Oh, it's funny to be on this side. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was doing one of these. Yeah, you look like Forge was trying to hit you. <laughs> I don't want to give you this fridge. <laughs> Couldn't find my clothes. <laughs> <laughs>